It's not about motivation. When is need discipline? Wake up and win today. <laughs> discipline comes from within. Boxing King Media in association with Boxro. Uh, I, I didn't think I'd be joined by yourself, Ezra. I've never met before. Uh, yesterday, you kind of set the boxing world on um, notice. Uh, notice. Yeah, that's yeah, the word. Well. Uh, uh, I think I'll just say it in the in the best way possible. I'm going to let you uh, do the introduction. But everyone was like, "Who the f is that guy?" Yeah, yeah everyone. Was, Who the fuck is this guy? Well, now you know me. You know it's Ezra Renka. 12 and 0, 10 knockouts. Um, come fighting out of Manchester, trained by former world champion Anthony Fonell from Arnie's gym. You know, so yeah, that's me, man. I've got the power, I've got the skill, I've got the body, I've got the looks, I've got the map. So I'm just here for the British boxing scene to know me. You know, I call myself the African king because I am the king, because I am the African king. I fought all over the world. I fought in Nigeria, fought in Ghana, fought in Colombia. Fought in England, fought in Amsterdam. I've done my own boxing shows back home, even, you know, back in Nigeria. So for me, boxing is life, you know. I started boxing when I was um, 21 years old, old, just like um, Deontay Wilder, Anthony Joshua, you know, Fra uh, Francis Ugano, you know, so. I'm, I'm going to come to your, yeah. your backstory, but I, mean, I, I think initially I've got to get out of you, like, Yesterday, the press conference was rolling. Ben Whittaker was talking to his opponent. Yeah, I know as we see this guy just walk into a Sky Sports press conference, like it wasn't a small scale thing, yeah. a big event. And you're like shouting, saying, you know, uh, I'm going to effing have you, etc., etc. Like, I've got to ask you, like, initially, uh, why Ben Whittaker? You know, do you guys know each other? Have you sparred together? And you, I think you got a t shirt on with the Bell, uh, Bell, Bell, and, Bell and Whittaker Bell written on it. Yeah. No, so as you know, Bell and, Whitt Bell and Whittaker. You know, the way he's been fighting and obviously he's trying to create uh, some form of entertainment, but he's a bit disrespectful to other boxers. So I have taken upon myself to be the boxer that's going to teach him a lesson, you know, you know. And I, the first time I called him Bell and Whitaker, I tagged him on Instagram. Then he messaged me back, I should come down for sparring. It was like, I'm like, bro, no, we're going to do it on the show, you know, I'm coming for you, boy. Those were literally my words. I'm not coming for no sparring i'm not a sparring partner i'm a champion so let's do it for a championship let's do it for a belt Let, let's put on show and you know he thought i was joking so i pulled up on him yesterday just to let him know i'm serious i was you could see in his eyes he was shook the thing was like what the, what the what's going on like yo you know never expect expected it you know so yeah do you think so i, I thought it was that he dealt with it quite because i because no, people are people are wondering is this stage or is it yeah. cause you can confirm it wasn't staged this, this is no stage man no one knows me this is no stage she's all real you know this is real i'm i'm coming to knock him out man you know i'm here for all this smoke bro he's a, he's a pretty boy i'm gonna make him ugly after a fight you get me so Obviously, you security were pulling you away, but what did you make of the things that he was saying back to you? I think he commented about your trousers, and it was quite a comical exchange. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, it's good. I give him that. It's, it's good, isn't it? Obviously, if a man comes at you, you've got to say something. So, respect to him as the game wins. So, he talks, uh, you know, but I'm not about the talking. You know, I'm here to call you out. I pulled up to him. He can look all pretty and cute with his little comments, but mm -hmm. when we get to the ring, it's getting sparked out, you know. The, the shades of Club Alanga. Have you seen the Rocky movies? Yeah, I've seen the Rocky movie. I've watched everything. Yeah, man. Was that your inspiration in this? Because Club Alang got, Club Alang got the fight with Rocky. Yeah. Um. So yeah, seeing that you mentioned it to me, I didn't really. This was just I would say this was called divine intervention. Okay. It just came up to me, and that's why I did it. But obviously, other boxers, Shannon Briggs, um, this guy from the Rocky movie, have put similar stunts. You know. But if you want, you go, you go out there to get it. So in life, you can't just sit at home. You know, boxers do that a lot. They just see your home thinking it's just going to happen. You know, this is to all boxers all, you know, listen, do what you need to do, man. I'm here doing what I need to do. Don't give a fuck and care what everyone says, isn't it? So I came for him, and I like Sky Sports. No, I don't care how big the platform is, isn't it? You know, anywhere I come for him, innit? So yeah, man, that's it, really. The, the most important thing, is, in fact, have you even, have you even, I don't know if you missed your full name. I know, I know you as Ezra, but what's your full name? So my name is a Warisha Ezra Renka, you know, so what does a Warisha mean? It means God's hands upon me. That's, that's my native name from a tribe called the Shakiri in Nigeria. So yeah, Ezra means helper okay. and Arenka means the man that's been all over the world, that's travelled. So yeah, that's me. The most important question on everyone's lips is, can this guy actually fight? I've seen your record, you've yeah. got some knockouts, so you're undefeated. So just, just tell us a little bit about your, your fighting. I can fight. You know what? Yeah, just ask about me in Manchester. You know, I can fight. You know, I've been in the gym, I've been experienced fighters, you know. 
it's not gonna be an easy walk with me. No one, no one. For you, for anyone to actually, it's, it's like, listen, I can, I've got, I've got the power, and that makes a difference. I've got the job too. You get what I'm saying? I can find guess the world just needs to see it and confirm it from themselves. So when they confirm, you know, when you've been doing something regularly for eight years, you see my face. I've got no marks, nothing, no black eye, nothing on me, right? They look punchy. They sound punchy to you, no, because I'm good. You know, but they don't know it. They're gonna look at me. It's in my record. Oh, okay. You know, okay, let's see. But when they find out, they're gonna be like, oh yeah, you know. Well, everyone's gonna be dying to see you fight. So you're gonna send me a, a clip of uh, some of your knockouts, and I'll play it on this interview so people are watching it right now. Hopefully, yeah, are looking at your knockouts right yeah, now, man. thinking either this guy can fight or he's all talk. So what are they gonna be saying? They're gonna be like, shit. Yeah, he can fight. <laughs> That's what's gonna be like, yeah, man. Okay. Uh, and just just tell us what's your promotional situation where are you based um i know you said you're training anthony final so i'm guessing you're based in manchester yeah i'm based in manchester i'm not going any promoter right now you know i'm not signed to anyone you know i have um my record is 12 for no last two years i've had um 12 fights it's all done behind my back i've found it myself my trips everything's all it's all by me i thank god for that for giving me the resources and ability to do that mm -hmm. so yes yeah, so i'm ready to go in any promoters out there at the end frank warren you know ben shalom listen Whoever they they say listen in England, I don't think there's any lights everywhere or super middle where that can really lace my boots, no cap. You know, so I'll go I'm not gonna be like, oh no, I don't wanna fight this guy. Oh no, listen, I'll fight anyone, man. So yeah, if you wanna test me, yeah, we can go, man. Put me put me on your show, test me out. The fans are gonna love me because I'm really, really what you call fan friendly fighter. If you understand what I'm trying to say, I bring the smoke, man, you feel me? I don't hold no I don't hold back, I've got the power, I've got the chain, so yeah. I've been an amazing addition to any promoter, and, I, and trust me, I'm making some good money too. Well, you made a serious statement yesterday, and just the last thing, Ben Whitaker as a fighter, I know you uh, called him out because obviously he's, he's, he's um, public image and everything about him is he's on the up, so he's the perfect guy to call out. But do you rate him as a fighter? Obviously, you've seen some of his highlights and things he's done in boxing recently. Yeah, Ben and Whitaker, yeah, he's, he's a good fighter. I rate him, you know. I, just as I rate myself, that's why you go for the best thing is the top of the tree, right? So why go looking, if you're really about the boxing, if you're really about the smoke, you go show you about the smoke, you get what I'm saying? That's why I'm coming for him, man. But I know I can beat him, you know. No one's managed to land a clean shot on him yet. What makes you think you can? Because I've got a sweet punch. Okay. Remember this, I've got the sweet punch. And when you land, you're going to be like, oh shit, he said you had the sweet punch. You know, and yeah, man, that's it. And I believe in myself, and I believe this is a divine intervention. Just sh tell the fans where they can follow your journey on Instagram, because I've got a feeling this isn't going to stop. You're going to be causing chaos at events uh, in and around the country. So uh, where can they follow you on Instagram? Um, they can follow me on Ezra Arenka, E-Z-R-A-A-R-E-N-Y-E-K. -E -E that's me on all platforms, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, on the TikTok, African King, um, yeah, Twitter, Ezra Arenka. So yeah, just follow me, support me, and watch the journey, man. You know, and um, this is just the beginning, and it's just early stages. You know? Professional career is a long one, and Ben, Whit um, ben and Whitaker is just a first step for me. You know, there's more fish and bigger fishes to fry. You know, the aim is to become world champion. The aim is to win as many belts as possible. And hopefully, um, once me and Ben and Whitaker can get a fight, I can fight him for wherever belt they present himself. You know, be it Commonwealth, you know, WBC, wherever, European, anything. I'm down for it. Well, we'll see where your journey goes up uh, and I look forward to following your career and uh, yeah, thank you for your time. I think this is the first interview you've done. Yeah, no, I've done a few others yesterday, but okay. yeah, but you'll be the first one to, right. to be out there. Yeah, man. Okay. Yeah. Appreciate your time, Ezra, and uh, let, let's see how this journey goes. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Thank thank you. you. I got a question for you. Where can discipline take you? Discipline points you towards your goals.